Here's how to find buyer keywords in three easy steps. Buyer keywords are keywords that a prospect uses to find a solution to their immediate problem. That problem can be that they are overweight, can't find a date, or have pimples on their butt. The exact problem isn't really our focus. Our focus is on the solution to the problem and figuring out what keywords they're using to find the solution. Here's an example. Let's say Jane wants to lose weight and has heard a little bit about fasting over the years as a good way to lose weight. A keyword that provides Jane with an immediate solution to her weight loss issues via fasting is a buyer keyword. Hi, I'm Corey Borman from aftportal.com and in this video, I'll show you how to find those direct response buyer keywords that'll put money in your pocket. In this lose weight scenario, one good example of a buyer keyword would be a product named Eat Stop Eat that your prospect may have seen in a review website when they were searching research keywords. Wait, so what are research keywords? Research keywords are search terms that a prospect uses to research information about a solution to their problem. Research keywords are not how to buy the solution, but information about a solution to their problem. On the other hand, when a prospect is searching buyer keywords, that's the moment they're looking to buy a specific product. If you place yourself in the middle of that prospect's internal buying frenzy, they will buy the product you're promoting right now. If you're looking to make the sale right now, that's called direct response marketing. In direct response, targeting the buyer keywords is the secret sauce. Here's how you find those buyer keywords for your next direct response promotion. The first thing you need is a source of data. There are many places to do competitive research and you can pay hundreds monthly to pull together this data from multiple sources. Sometimes big data ain't free. In this example, I'm gonna use AFPortal because I built it and it's what I use. Feel free to use your own big data research providers like SEMrush or SimilarWeb. If you don't have the hundred or so to kick out for SEMrush or SimilarWeb, use AFPortal because it's much cheaper. Now that you know what a buyer keyword is, here's how to find them in three easy steps. One, select a good product to promote. ClickBank, JVZoo, or your favorite affiliate networks are great places to start. Make sure that you get one that has a good conversion rate or is in demand. Okay, so step two is get organic results. You can go out to Google and search the product name and manually scrape out the page URLs to a notepad. So the product I chose is Eat Stop Eat. So let's start with the product name. Okay, so these are the organic results for Eat, Stop, Eat inside Google. What you would do now is go through these articles and select the URL of the exact article or the website, depending on if it's a, you know, a full review type website or if it's a multiple review website where there's like one article reviewing a single product. I'm going to go to AFPortal's top 20 organic results scraper so I can get all these results put in a CSV quickly. Okay, so here is the top 20 organic results for Eat, Stop, Eat and the exact URL that each organic result is pointing to. Next, we're going to find our target keywords. If it's a review article, find the keyword that the article is ranking for. Or if it's a review website, find the keyword that the website is ranking for. So the difference between the two is a review website would be something like eatstopeat.net or eatstopeat.info. Anything other than the product website. Even something like eatstopeatreview.com. Now, if it's a review article, you want to get the keywords that the individual article is ranking for. So an example of this would be like a domain, something like fastingweightloss.com slash eat, stop, eat, which would be an article about the eat, stop, eat program, but on a larger domain that reviews multiple products. For this, you're going to need real data. So we're, I'm going to show you how to do it with F portal. So here we are inside of the organic results scraper still. And I see several domains here. I see a YouTube video. I see what looks like an article inside of a review site for Eat, Stop, Eat. And then I also see eatstopeatblog.com, which would be a full review site dedicated to only one product. 
So to get the URL keywords for this specific article, we click on URL keywords. This opens up the organic URLs keyword tool. And we'll show you the exact keywords that the individual article is ranking for and their position for that article for the different keywords, as well as the search volume, which is monthly, for that keyword. Another example here I want to show you is the eatstopeatblog.com, which it isn't a website owned by the product owner, but it's a review website. So for this, we want to know what the domain keywords are. What keywords is this domain eatstopeatblog.com ranking for? So we'll click on domain keywords. That'll open up this query in organic domain keywords. And you can go down and it includes all the URLs that are included on this domain that rank in the top 20 organic search results in Google and the keywords that they rank for. It's these top keywords that you want to take a look at as your buyer keywords. The keywords with the top volume that the review sites are ranking for. So for Eat Stop Eat blog, we have the product name, Eat Stop Eat, Eat Stop Eat PDF, Eat Stop Eat Results, Eat Stop Eat Review, Eat Stop Eat Diet. Where for the fasting article at bulletproofexec.com, We've got Eat Stop Eat. We've got the author's name of the product. And then we have Eat Stop Eat without spaces. Eat Fast Eat, which is an interesting combination. And product owner and product name. So it's those top keywords that the review sites that are ranking for that you want to use as your buyer keywords. You want to start your campaign using these top level keywords and branch out from there. So what's next? Well, you need a high quality affordable data source. You can choose SimilarWeb at $199 a month and get this data. Or you can choose SEMrush at $70 a month and get this data. Or you can choose AffPortal, which is designed for the small independent business at just $37 a month. Click the big orange button below to get started with a free AffPortal trial and start researching your buyer keywords right now.